Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're going to be really pushing the Energy Flex 1500 portable solar generator to the test by seeing if it'll run an electric heater. Um, now this isn't really a practical application for these types of units um, because heaters and air conditioners use a ton of power. The uh, Vornado heater that I'm using today on low takes around 600 watts and on high it takes 1500 and sometimes over 1500 watts to run and I have three batteries attached to this energy flex because you can add up to 100 batteries if you want and you can also add tons of solar to these if you want this will be a test with no solar whatsoever but three batteries running that heater and we're going to take it all the way down on low and then all the way down on high from a full charge if you're unfamiliar with the energy flex 1500 i have a video up top that explains all of its features and um, that way people that have been following along don't have to sit through all the same information about the unit again and again and again so that card will be up top and then also there's a review video that i do on it where i explain all the features technical specs and stuff and i will put another card up there that has the actual review so you can just click that and watch it and come back or do it vice versa however you want this one's just about running a heater because i get so many questions about running an air conditioner or a heater off these types of solar generators and um Though it's not practical, some of them can handle that, m that massive amount of energy. So this is really gonna push the Energy Flex hard at its maximum 1500 watt rating and even over that for the entire test. So without further ado, why don't we just jump in there and see how it does. Let's check it out. Also, uh, link down below if you're interested in one of these and I'll get you the best price on the internet. I am an affiliate for Energy Flex. They send me all their stuff, I review them, I share it with you, and they give me discount links down below um, that you can use to pick those up or check them out. So, let's get into the testing. Okay, so we're gonna be running this Vornado heater um, by the Energy Flex completely. We do have a watt meter plugged in as well, a timer, and I set my phone for a time lapse and I kind of adjusted the brightness for the uh, display as much as possible. And the phone is being charged by that line energy power pack so we don't have to worry about that at all. So what we're gonna do is just turn on the, le the heater. I think we'll go with low for this, this first test. And we have three batteries hooked up to the energy right here as you can see. And let's go ahead and click those on. Why not? Hopefully you can see that, but we're at 100%, 100%, 100%, and 100%. So what we're gonna do is just kick this guy on low and leave it on until the batteries are dead. All three of them, let's do it. Go down to low. Yeah, low, we'll turn the thermostat all the way up. And it looks like we're drawing 671 watts. And on the display it shows 662. So we're off to the races. Let's see how long that runs. Okay, so the Vornado is still blowing out hot air. We're going on about four hours now. And we are still pulling 630 watts. And if we look at the batteries, see that one's got 3%, then we have 2%, oh, 2% and 3%. So this should be kicking off pretty soon. And it looks like we made it about four hours. But uh, we'll see how long it goes. Pretty cool. Okay. And the fan's barely even working, so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna be running the Vornado on high for this test, but I'm not gonna leave the watt meter plugged in uh, to the apex for the entire duration of this test because every time I try and do that, it usually burns up my watt meter. Uh, running something that's high powered for that long. So we're going to get a base reading just for a minute and then we'll know how many watts this uses according to the watt meter on high.
and then we'll just compare that to the flex and go off the uh, flex's wattage display. Okay, 1430 watts on high. And we'll give that just about three or four minutes to let it get all warmed up and everything to make sure that we have uh, the warmed up reading. Okay, I let that run for a couple of minutes. I, I'm still on high and we're at 1425 watts. So very, very close to 1500 watts, uh, which is the max inverter rating uh, continuous for the Energy Flex. So this is gonna be a, a brutal test to watch this go through three batteries worth of power running through that inverter at 1,424 watts. So let's do this. Okay, so we have the Vornado plugged directly into the Energy Flex and everything is at 100%. We do have this phone that's uh, gonna do a little hyperlapse for us. All of these batteries, I'll see if I can show you all these are charged to 100 percent so we already have the uh, inverter on and we're gonna fire this guy up and see what happens let's go for it we're gonna do it on high there we go we're on high and if we look over here the fan immediately came on and we're uh, pulling 1432 watts from the uh, batteries. So that's with the inverter and all that stuff. And any losses, so it's it's going. We're cranking out plenty of heat. I'm gonna start this timer. There we go. And uh, this is gonna be a really, really serious torture test for the Energy Flex. We'll see how she does. Okay, so we are an hour and 20 minutes in, and the fans are rocking on the energy. We're actually pulling 1,570 watts, which is more than I wanted to, uh, but so far it's, it's doing really well. Um, just some warm air blowing out of the side, cooling fans doing their job, hasn't shut down, everything's still going. That's pretty impressive. All the batteries are perfectly synced up. So everything is working flawlessly. That is just a ton of power to be coming out of something that you can carry around and take with you camping, you know, with one battery. That's just, uh, it's really impressive for the inverter. That says a lot. Very successful test. Let's listen to the fans. It's blowing warm air out of the side, but nothing crazy. The unit itself feels cool to the touch on this side and barely warm at all on that side. Crazy. Let's uh, check the batteries. Everything just feels lukewarm if at all i think it's just a couple degrees above room temperature there and i'm letting the uh the fans kind of do their thing and cool everything off and that is a successful test very impressive okay so while it was able to handle uh both tests i mean the on low it was able to run the heater for four hours and that's using three batteries um, and so you can easily divide that, you know, and just kind of figure out how long it'll last on one battery or two or three or four or five. Um, so four hours on low and then it made it about an hour and 50 minutes. Let's just call it two hours um, on high. Now on high, that was really pushing the inverter very, very hard because um, it was over 1500 watts at times. Um, it never shut down. It did a great job. It made it all the way through the discharge with three batteries running that heater. And I wouldn't recommend that you do that to it very often 
because it's bound to take its toll when you're pushing something in its absolute maximum capacity for hours and hours and hours. Um, it's going to take a toll. And if you have one battery, that's really going to shorten the lifespan of that one battery because you're pulling all of that energy out so, so fast. Um, and it just wouldn't be practical. But the point is that it is capable of running something like that. And that's what we wanted to figure out. So it did very, very well. And of course, uh, when you add multiple batteries, they all kind of provide a, a portion of that power. And so it's a lot easier on each individual battery, which is why I felt comfortable doing it um, without really, do, you know, a lot of wear and tear on my battery. But as far as wear and tear on the inverter, who knows? But so far it's running really, really well. And um, energy is starting to get these guys shipped out despite all the COVID craziness and uh, shipping problems and battery availability problems and hardware and blah, blah, blah. So they're, they're finally getting caught up and they're sending them out. People are saying they're getting them. So I wanted to share this video just to show you that my unit is very, very capable and performing very well. I also did an air conditioning video. And if you're interested in that, I'll put a link uh, card up top. That you can click and check that out. Air conditioners are easier to run because my AC window unit only uses 500 watts or less at 5,000 BTUs and it cools the room off quite nicely. So it actually works pretty well for that. But a 1500 watt heater, ugh, it does it, but I wouldn't do it all the time. All right, well, I hope that helped you out. Um, there's a link down below that'll save you the maximum amount uh, on the internet with my affiliate link that they give me to give you the best possible percentage off if you're interested in the description below. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. That really helps me out. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.